This story is not about Richard T. Walker. He is not the subject of this story. He is not the subject of my stories. I have never met Richard T. Walker. This is not to say I don't want to meet him. It's just to say that I haven't. This story is not even about a guy, though it's often for me about a guy, because I am often that woman who writes that shit. Because I was raised to be a weak-ass woman. I was raised to be a dumbass woman. I was raised to be a perfect woman, with big tits, with long hair, a perfect smile, and here I am. Here's the reason I'm writing this. I was in a museum with a guy. I was into the guy for reasons I can't explain. I mean, he wasn't even into art because he wasn't into being indoors. He was into taking road trips. He was into finding things in nature, like rocks shaped like animals, like mushrooms on the sides of trees, like a boring ass ocean, like a boring ass fucking canyon. <laughs> I didn't much get into nature, but I wanted to see the lightning field. The lightning field was somewhere in a desert. It was a field of lightning some guy on purpose set up. I didn't know how it worked. I mean, I didn't really know how he got the lightning to strike. It had something to do with metal poles, something to do with nature. I didn't really understand nature. I mean, I was really that dumb about it. I mean, I knew the things that people said, like things about the speed of light, like the distance of the sun, like how things grew out of dirt. But that didn't mean it made any fucking sense. I mean, it was no different from magic, which also made no fucking sense. In the museum, I like this one piece best. It was by an artist called Richard T. Walker. I stood in front of it for a long time, and the guy I was with stood in front of it too. And we were standing there silent for a while. And I took this to mean something big. But then the guy said, why are we even standing here? He said, why am I still standing here? He said, you do not like this. I said, I do too like this. He said, are you crazy? I said, are you jealous? He said, are you crazy? <laughs> Walking to the museum, I saw these two snails fucking. <laughs> there they were, fucking, in the center of a leaf. I pointed it out to a stranger on the street, said, look, said those two snails are fucking. But the stranger just wasn't into the snails. He just walked away. And I leaned down and thought something about love. And really, I'm sorry to sound all sentimental. I'm just saying, I was into it. I don't mean to say I was into it, into it. I was not a pervert. But these stubborn shit snails, which were crawling out of their shells just to press their wet and awful bodies together, just think about it. Once the guy went on one of his road trips, he wanted to see some thing in nature, and he took a photo of the thing and sent it to me. But most of the photo was just his leg. Beyond his leg was a sliver of something red, like a sunset, a volcano. But I was like, why are you sending me a photo of your fucking leg? Once to the guy, I was like, we should go to the lightning field, because though it was art, which he didn't like, it was outside, which he did like. I didn't know how the lightning field worked, like where you stood or how far away, but I imagined me and him in the back of my car, and the car surrounded by lightning, and the car struck again and again, and us in the car completely unharmed. But he was like, the what field? And I was like, I cannot believe you sometimes. When I saw the snails stretching out of their shells, I wasn't looking for a metaphor. I wasn't looking for anything. I said to the stranger to look at this. I said to the stranger it was beautiful. I said, look, but he was already gone. And really, it was all just kind of disgusting. I mean, it was beautiful, I guess, but it was really just totally disgusting. I was into the lightning field, perhaps, because I had known a girl who had been struck by lightning. A bolt of lightning had come through the roof of her house and struck her standing there in a hallway, I swear. She was such an idiot before the lightning struck her. She was like the dumbest girl in the class. But after she was struck, she was like a god or something. I can't explain it. She was still dumb as shit, but also somehow she was not. This story is not about Richard T. Walker. It is not even about his piece. 
It was only a landscape after all. It was only a man standing in the landscape. That's all I guess there is to say, and that the guy I was like didn't like it, because he probably didn't get it. And looking back, I probably didn't get it either. And I probably should have walked away before I did, but the longer I stood there, the more I wanted to be there. I wanted to be inside the landscape. I wanted to be standing with the guy. I mean the guy in the landscape, not the guy I was with. That guy was getting bored with me. That guy was pulling on my arm. That guy was saying, let's go already. He wanted to get outside. It was a beautiful day, he said. We were wasting our time, he said. There were beautiful things to see. There were oceans and things. There was a ton of shit. So I'm sorry, Richard T. Walker, but I had to follow the guy. I was raised to be a certain way, you see, with this perfect hair, this perfect smile, these tits. But let me make it up to you, Richard T. Walker. I'll make it up to you someday. I'll take you to the lightning field. I'll take off your shoes in the back of my car. I'll take photos of lightning beyond our legs. And I'll watch you sleep as the lightning doesn't kill us again and again. Thanks. Bravo!